could see you boys there. I was just making a little pot of coffee. If you boys want some, let me get you some. I'm about to make a phone call, so come on, let's go. Okay. And I just like to add a little pizzazz in my coffee to give me a little energy in the morning. One for you. And one for me. Let me just go sit in my comfy chair. <laughs> uh. Who is it? Shut up! It's your wife! Judy! Hey! Hey, Janet. So I was thinking maybe getting a little frisky tonight. Getting the girls back together again. That sounds amazing. What time should I be there? 6.30. And hold on, let me go wake up Paul. You know what? I have to go. I'll, I'll see you at 6.30. Bye! <laughs> Paul, honey, I'm going to be having my friends over later tonight, so if you want to leave, get out of the house, you totally can, okay? Oh. <laughs> Faster than I thought. <laughs> Better call Deandra now. What? Deandra, it's Judy. Oh, hey, Judy. I thought it was my parole officer. Well, I was thinking since you just got back from Russia, maybe we can get all the girls back together again. Have a little dinner. What do you say? Mommy! Shut up, Nikki! Your mother's on the phone! Yeah, that sounds good. What time? Well, okay. Why don't you be there at 6.30 sharp? Don't be late, okay? <laughs> no, Claire. Oh. Hello? Claire, sweetie. It's Judy. Oh, hi, Judy. How are you? What's up? So... All the girls are coming over tonight, and I was thinking, it wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so honored. <laughs> what should I bring? Oh, just bring yourself. Don't worry, my treat. <laughs> what time should I be there? Six o Four o'clock. Four o'clock, okay, see you soon. Okay, goodbye, sweetie. <sighs> It's 4.05, where could she be? <laughs> Claire! Hi, Judy! <laughs> <laughs> Look who finally decided to show up. Yeah, though. I'm so sorry I'm late. My car got in a crash on the freeway. Uh, Claire, I don't care. Really messy. Oh. Uh, wow, <laughs> love the outfit. Thanks, I kind of had a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> Especially those shoes. Yeah, they're brand new. Can you tell? <laughs> them four o'clock sharp. Uh -huh. Claire, did you bring anything? Oh, no, because you said on the phone that it was oh, How treat. unfortunate. <laughs> well, since you didn't bring anything, why don't you help me in the kitchen oh, since you're a little bit early? I'd Come be on. honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Claire, sweetie, this is my last drink. You don't let me have any more tonight, okay? Okay, good idea. Um, actually, it's getting really steamy over here. Could you give me a hand, please? Oh, Claire, sweetie, I'd love to, but I, I just did the dishes and I'm really tired right now. Oh, okay, I understand. But could you mix that brownie mix? It just needs to be mixed really quick and then popped in the oh, oven. It's Claire, fresh. I'd love to, but uh, the girls are going to be here soon and I really need to finish getting ready. You don't mind, right? No, okay, you got not it. at all. Okay, thanks, Claire. Yeah. You're the best. She's your friend. <laughs> Jesus is a friend of mine. I'm a friend of Jesus. <laughs> um, Judy, I'm gonna get the door. Keep an eye on the casserole. It'll burn. Got it. Hey, Janet. It's so Claire. good to see you. <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, just some new clothes I picked up. I had a makeover. 
You know, houndstooth is my pattern, right? Yeah, I just, I got some inspiration. <laughs> inspiration? No! You're gonna have to go home and change right now. Right now? I live 20 minutes away. You, you live right across the street. <laughs> well, one of us is gonna have to change, and it's not gonna be me, alright? Do you know how embarrassing it would be for me to go home and change right now? How would that be embarrassing? It just would be, okay? I would be walking around here like an idiot while you're wearing my houndstooth. And when did you start dressing like a slut? Thought you were a woman of God, huh? I'm sorry! Claire! Oh. Damn it! I love what you've done with the place. You know I haven't been here in ages. Thank you, I just got the cabinets redone. Love what you're doing with your hair. Thanks, I call it just got out of bed. <laughs> oh, where's Claire? She had to go home. Wardrobe malfunction. Poor thing. Oh, that's too bad. Looks like I lost my little helper. Okay, the casserole's cooking. Oh, the brownies. Janet, do you think you could lend me a hand? Of course! Just let me have one glass of wine. You know what? It's fine. I'll do it by myself. Just like how I do everything in this family. Because I never get any goddamn help! Oh. <sighs> Sorry, Janet. You don't think I'm overreacting. Oh, of course not. I know how much stress you're under. Oh, thank you. I just get a little overwhelmed sometimes. Judy! Is this wine from Target? Oh. It's fine. I'll drink it. Help it up! It's the police! Deandra! Oh. I'm back! How oh was Russia? Oh my gosh, it was amazing! <laughs> So sorry I'm late. I was just having a pap smear and let me tell you, a man hasn't touched me like that in years. Mm. What's your doctor's name? <laughs> oh, I wasn't aware there would be cameras here. I didn't even put on any makeup. <laughs> Judy, I brought you a little something for your house. You didn't. <laughs> Don't touch that. That's mine. Here's your presents, all the way from Russia. They don't have these in America. Oh my god. I, I love it. <laughs> I knew that you would. So, did you have any news for us? What happened in Russia? Well, I have a surprise for you all, but wait until then I'll be okay. patient. <laughs> Do you smell that? I, it smells like something's burning. <gasps> the casserole! to do. Judy, you're looking a little crispy. You know what? It's fine. It's all fine. Why, why don't we just all sit down to eat and we'll have Wait, a nice, let's just lovely be, dinner. Let's get you cleaned up. Okay. Judy needs all the help she can get right now. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. We're gonna get you cleaned up and looking good as new, okay? Okay. This reminds me of one time, Thanksgiving 2014, at the DeAndre Filippelli household. My cousin Nikki forgot the casserole. We named my daughter Nikki after my cousin Nikki. Cousin Nikki's always a great time. She burnt the casserole, kind of like how we did. But she got a little more burnt up than you, and we had to take her to the ER, and she had to get reconstructive surgery for her. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. Shh. Shh. Let me sing you a song my mama used to sing to me. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. 
Never let it fade away. Catch a falling star and pay the nice man on the corner. Save it for a rainy day. Catch a falling star. Oh my gosh, do you feel as good as now? Oh, I think I left my purse in the kitchen. I'll be right back, oh, you okay? Go ahead. Okay, while well, I'm back, Janet, I see you served yourself. Mm -hmm. Got tired of waiting. Oh, and I see you changed too. Mm -hmm. I just had some clothes laying in the back. In the back? <laughs> Why in the back of the. I thought you hadn't been here in ages. I left them here last time, like years ago, because I thought, you know, someday this is bound to happen. And if something happens to the clothes I show up in, I will need a change of clothes. Oh, and I love those shoes. Yeah, they're pretty unique. I had a white pair I wanted to wear tonight, but I couldn't find one of them. Interesting. What's the dinner I <laughs> Burnt casserole? Just a little bit. A little burnt. So excited! Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, does anybody want to take a guess? Uh, boyfriend? Mm-mm. You don't have a yeast infection. <gasps> Mm-mm. <laughs> um, actually, <clears throat> it's a funny story. Um, so when I was in Russia, I was at the strip club, dollar dollar bills, getting a little tipsy, you know how it goes. Um, and all of a sudden, I saw an angel, but it wasn't an angel. It was me, but it wasn't me at all. It was my twin sister. I no have a twin way. sister. <laughs> Deandra. I'm not kidding. I can't make this stuff up. I can't. Oh my God. She looks so just exciting. like me, just Russian. This calls for another glass. <laughs> and another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> such thing, Claire. If we're gonna be a little crabby about it, why don't I just get you a plate? Mm. Here! Thanks. Eat your casserole! So, Claire, why were you so late? I wouldn't be so late if I didn't have to change. Oh, sweetie, you didn't have to do that. I changed anyways. But I think it was worth it because that outfit is just spectacular. <laughs> okay, guys, I have another big surprise. What? She's here! Who? My twin! No way! No way! Do you guys want to meet her? Yes. Okay, let me go get her. Oh. Oh, my stars. Hello. Where is my twin sister? Um, I, I think she said she was in the bathroom. What's your name, sweetie? Elizabeth. Oh, wow. Well, tell us a bit about yourself. I am from Russia. I have twin sister, Deandra. And in countries, we don't eat lettuce. Oh, well, 
Why don't you try a little bit of the casserole? In country, we also don't eat casserole. Oh. What do you eat? None of your business. I bet the wine in Russia must be superb. We don't have grapes in Russia. That is a difference from Americans. What do you drink? We drink juice. <sighs> do you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Putin, yes. Lord and Savior, thank you. That is not our Lord and Savior. Well, it is not our Lord and Savior, it's my Lord and Savior, and anybody who is anybody Lord and Savior. <laughs> Excuse me, that was a loud one. When you sneeze, you transmit germs. Germs are not allowed in Russia. This is key to Russian culture. You must have had a rough childhood. What were your pants like? They were dead, that is what they were like. Oh, and I'm so sorry to hear. Okay. How did you and Deandra meet? Well, we were at strip club and I was kindly minding business as I do, as I, I am chaperone for strip club to make sure nobody touches anybody. Yeah, we were at strip club and twin sister was on table doing motion like this and then I looked at her and I said, no, 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 no. And then she proceeded down from said table and bottle in hand and said, you look like you need drink. Take off turtleneck and have drink. And I said, I will never take off turtleneck, get your dirty hands off me. Then she took off sunglasses. And again, I said, yes, there's new And she said to me, I don't understand that language. So I said, you are disgusting. And she said, we look like each other. And I said, is that insult? And she said, no, 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 it's insult, it says it's observation. And I said, I don't understand what is observation. And she says, I don't know, I read it in big book. And I said, okay. And then we waited until daylight, and then what? We're twins. What a lovely story. You know, you and Deandra look so cute together. Why don't you bring Deandra no, up to no, get a little no, no, picture? No. I do not like to spend time with Deandra. I told her I would come here to meet friends, but I will never be seen with her. So... You and Deandra can't be in the same room? No, it's offense to me. She said, ha ha ha, be fun if we together. Bouncy boob. And I said, no, 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 no. We must never be together. Deandra really should cover up a little bit more. I think you'd like Russia, Claire. Sounds like Prude City. Russia would not like her. And I would not like Russia. I am deeply offended by American culture, and I wish to be here no more, and I will go find my sister right now! Oh. Ah! Look what you've done, Claire. You've upset me. Why don't you clean up? He says one mess in your life you can fix. Nice going, Claire. I brought us some wine. <laughs> Claire is being so difficult today. Oh, I know. She's no help, lazy, rude, can't cook. Right. I'm back. And I brought the smear knob. I also brought my fireball. <laughs> Make room. Oh. <clears throat> so that yelly, savvy sets up. Is she okay? She seemed a bit upset after uh. dinner. She was kind of offended by Claire. By the way, I heard made a comment about my cleavage, which is why I decided to change into something a little bit more modest. Mm -hmm. So, I really feel bad that we didn't get to apologize yeah. to your sister. Why don't you bring her out here? That's and a we'll good idea. We'll all meet face to face. Oh yes, that's a good idea. Let me just get up. Oh, I'm a little top heavy. Excuse me. <laughs> You Hey, has anyone seen my glasses? Andrew, come on, you got to put this Perfect Perfect Deandra? Get out, Claire! Oh my gosh. She doesn't really think we're buying this, does she? I think Deandra's been caught in a little lie. <laughs> she isn't the only one caught up in a lie. Is she Janet? Judy, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, Janet. You know, earlier when I was watching off my charred skin, 
I came across a little shoe. A little white shoe in Paul's room. Do you want to talk about that, Janet? Oh, come on, Judy. It's not like you were satisfying him. You sleep in separate rooms, for God's sake. <laughs> you think you are giving him satisfaction <laughs> and the Walmart version of my haircut? Excuse me? You, you know what, Janet? You're jealous of me. That's it. That's why you just want my husband, my hair. <laughs> jealous. You know what, Judy? Why don't I give you a minute to calm down and I'll go talk to my girls. <laughs> Your girls. Your girls? Your girls. No, 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 Janet. My girls. My girls. My goddamn girls. I am the glue that holds this whole girl group together. You guys wouldn't be anything without me. I support you guys better than this bra supports my false breasts. So you know what? You can screw my husband all you want. You can steal my haircut. But you can never take the credit for my work! Wait! Ah! Oh my God! Judy! Judy! Get off of her! That's ungodlike! But he will forgive you. You know what? You're right, Claire. I just need to calm down a little bit. <sighs> Some news. I caught Deanna. Oh, uh, you know what, Claire? There's no time for that. The Russian's coming. Yelly Sippy Sippy, or whatever the heck his name is. I'm back. Hello, I'm back. Hello, Yelly Sippy So sorry about earlier. I hope we didn't offend you too much. What a lovely shade of red lipstick. It looks very familiar. Yes, there's something I am trying, but I don't like it. What's Deandra up to? Why isn't she here? I'm not sure. Probably making call for parole officer. I know there's something she had to sort out, so... Isn't there always something that she has to work out? No, there is not always something she has to work out! Don't you know what you are talking about? <sighs> Sorry I said anything. Since you and Deandra are twins, you must share the same last name. No. I have Russian last name. What is it then? I'm so curious. Um, Smirnoff. Smirnoff is my last name. As in the devil's drink? Like my sister's favorite drink. Aside from Fireball, I'm told she loves that one. Isn't that Deandra's earring? Um, Yes, we as twins, we like to uh, share. But she was wearing it earlier! Yes, but she would like me to keep it for safekeeping. But wouldn't you have had to see her? Well, she slid it under door from bathroom when I was in bathroom. Oh, somebody get the phone! Anyways, back to discussion. Maybe Deandra will get it. Maybe. Hey, hey, Deandra, can you get the phone? I think she is busy, probably. No, I think she could get the phone. Deandra! Deandra is busy right now. You know what? I think I'll give her a call. I think I will go tell her. I will tell her to answer the phone and give her earring. Good night. You know what? It's been a long night. I'm just going to go home and read some scripture. Oh, you know what, sweetie? While you're up, can you go and get us another bottle of wine? But Judy, you told me not to let you drink at all tonight. Claire, I said no such thing. Yes. You did. And you know what else you did? You took credit for my casserole! I made the casserole! And you let it burn! I told you to keep an eye on it, and you didn't! You never do anything! I do everything! You treat me like a house servant, and I get no credit! <gasps> you know what, Judy? Do your own goddamn work! Claire, the Lord! Don't bring him into this! Keep his name out of your lip! Injected face. I am sick and tired of the way you treat me. You made me drive all the way to home and all the way back to change into this. I'm sick of it. You are fake and you're cheating on your husband with her husband, and I can't believe it. This is sin. I'm back. What's all the racket? And you, you are a two-faced lying bitch, and I've had enough of it. You sneak around here with your dirty little lies, and you know what? I don't need any of you guys in my 
my life. The only person I need is him! God bless! I really didn't expect that to come out of a stiff like Claire. I know, she was a little feisty. Maybe we should think about the kind of people we are. Yeah, you know, maybe we should all just talk together and really work out our issues. <laughs> <laughs> a falling star and put it in your pocket never let it fade away <laughs> catch a falling star